You're watching InfoSec Bytes, a crash course in information security for journalists. We're based at the Center for Investigative Journalism in London and supported by the Logan Foundation. In this video, we look at how to easily clone your Tails operating system and how to keep your Tails system up to date. This video is provided for information only. It cannot replace the advice of a trained security professional. If lives or safety depend on your security, please seek the advice of an expert. The Center for Investigative Journalism is a pioneer in providing expert information security training services to journalists and journalistic institutions. To consult with an expert through the CIJ or to arrange a CIJ training session, contact the address on screen. This video is part of a series on the Tails operating system. If you haven't yet, make sure you watch our other videos on Tails. Click or tap on the pop-up message to access them. You now have your Tails USB up and running, but what if you need more than one? We have just gone through quite a complicated process to create a new Tails USB, and anyone could be forgiven for never wanting to do all of that again. The thing is, now that you have your first Tails USB working, it's much, much easier to create more Tails. You'll remember the Tails installer, an application we already used to create our final Tails USB. Tails Installer allows you to clone your Tails onto another USB. As long as you have blank USB drives, you can create as many Tails USBs as you want using the cloning method. You may want to do this if, for instance, you need to run Tails on several computers at once and need Tails USBs for each of them, or if you would like to have separate Tails USBs dedicated to different kinds of work or projects, or if your colleagues now need Tails USBs. All you have to do is remove all other connected USB drives. Insert your blank USB and make sure it is blank. And then start the Tails installer from the menu by clicking on Applications, Tails, Tails installer. Once the Tails installer window opens, what you want to use is the top option, Install by Cloning. Now you will be given another window asking you to choose the USB you want to install Tails to. The only USBs that should be plugged into your computer right now are the Tails USB you booted from, the host USB, and the new USB that we want to install Tails onto, the target USB. If you have any other devices connected, make sure they are removed because you do not want to accidentally install Tails on the wrong device. Make sure that you select the correct USB from the drop-down menu. Assuming you have no other devices connected, only one USB should appear in the drop-down list the target USB. Choose this one and then select Install Tails to start the installation. You will be given a confirmation window. Read the text carefully and then, if you are happy to proceed, click Yes. The installation will commence. It will take a few minutes. When it's finished, you will see this screen. It's now safe to close Tails Installer. We've now created a new Tails USB. You can repeat this process as many times as you want, creating a whole box of Tails USBs if you like. So that's how to create new Tails USBs. But what about keeping your system up to date? Every few months, the Tails developers release a new version of Tails, which adds new features, fixes problems with the software, and closes security holes, which have been discovered. The security of your Tails system depends on keeping it up to date. If you do not keep it up to date, your system could be vulnerable to attack. So as soon as an update comes out, you should install it right away. Thankfully, it's normally really easy to install a Tails update. When you boot Tails up and then connect it to your Wi-Fi network, Tails automatically queries the Tails website and checks to see if there is an update available. If there is, a few minutes after you've connected it to Wi-Fi, you will see this screen. You can choose to postpone the update if you need to, for instance, if you're using your computer away from home and have limited battery life left. But if you are in a position to install the update, we recommend you do so right away. To do so, you click Upgrade Now. Tails will immediately start downloading the update from the Tails website. All of this is done over the Tor network, of course, to ensure that the update is performed as anonymously as possible. Depending on how fast your internet connection is, it might take anything up to an hour to download the update. You will see a progress meter which tells you how far along it is. Once the download is complete, Tails will now install the update. Before it does so, 
It disables all networking. This is a security procedure which prevents anything interfering with the update process and making sure that the update is installed correctly. Once this happens, you cannot use the internet at all. It may take a few minutes for Tails to complete the installation of the update. Once it is finished installing the update, you will see this pop-up window. It recommends restarting Tails so that Tails can boot the updated version and you can immediately benefit from the new security updates. It gives you an option to put off rebooting if you wish. You may want to do this if you've been working while the update was taking place and wish to save your work. But you should know that networking will not work again until you reboot Tails. Click on Restart Now to reboot Tails and take advantage of your new upgrade. That's how upgrades normally work on Tails. But every so often, the Tails developers release an upgrade which cannot be installed in the normal way. When this happens, you will get a message like this, telling you that the automatic upgrade has been disabled for this update, and that you must upgrade Tails manually. Upgrading Tails manually is a bit more inconvenient, but we will show you how to do it. Thankfully, you can upgrade manually using the Tails installer, so it's not too difficult. So, let's open up Tails installer again to have a look. We've already seen the first option, Install by Cloning. But there are two other options on Tails installer. The second option, Upgrade by Cloning, is for upgrading another USB. For this option, your host USB must already be the newest version, and you then clone your updated version of Tails onto an out-of-date USB, which brings it up to date. It will leave any persistence on the target USB untouched. You can use this option to upgrade a set of Tails USBs to the newest version, providing you already have one of them that is the newest version. But for that you do at least need one USB that is the newest version. That's where the third option comes in, Upgrade from ISO. Using this option, you can download the new Tails ISO from the Tails website, and then use it to upgrade a target USB. Once you have done that, you can then use the second option to upgrade any other Tails USBs you have. So, how can we use these options to perform a manual upgrade? Here is a set of steps to follow to do so. All you need is a spare USB which we will use to create a temporary Tails USB. We will then boot into the temporary Tails USB and from there we will upgrade the original Tails USB. And then we can remove the temporary Tails USB and boot using the original Tails again, which is now upgraded. So, first, insert the spare USB that will become your temporary Tails. Launch Tails Installer by finding it in the menu and click on Install Tails by Cloning. Choose your temporary Tails USB in the drop-down menu and click Install Tails. Click Yes at the confirmation dialog. Now, wait while Tails is installed onto your temporary Tails USB. When it's finished, close the window and shut down your computer. Remove the original Tails USB, but leave the temporary Tails USB still plugged in. Turn the computer on and boot into the temporary Tails USB. Within Tails, connect to the internet and wait for Tor to start, and when it starts, open Tor Browser. The Tor Browser should open on the Tails website. Click on the Tails logo to go to the main Tails page. Click on the Install Tails button. Instead of using the Tails Installation Assistant, we will choose the small link underneath it, Download Only. Click on Install Firefox Add-on, and when the pop-up appears, choose Allow. Shortly, another pop-up box will now ask you if you want to install the add-on. Click Install, and Tor Browser will install the add-on. You will be presented with the next stage, Download Tails ISO Image. Click this. A download box will now pop up, asking you where you want to save the ISO. Save it to your Tor Browser folder. The button will now change into a progress meter, showing you the download progress. Wait while Tor Browser downloads the Tails ISO. Once the download is completed, the verification will automatically take place. Assuming the verification checks out, 
you will get a green tick and you will get a little box telling you the verification was successful. This means it's safe to proceed. Now, insert your original Tails USB, the one that you want to upgrade. Open Tails Installer and click Upgrade with ISO. Under Use Existing Live System ISO, click on the button and then browse to your Tor Browser folder and double click on the Tails ISO you just downloaded. Now, under Target Device, make sure the correct USB is chosen. When you're ready, click Install Tails. Once you do, you will get a confirmation dialog. Read it carefully, and if you're happy to proceed, click Yes. And now wait while Tails Installer uses the downloaded ISO to upgrade your original Tails USB. Once it's finished, you will get a pop-up box telling you the process was successful. Click Close. Now shut the computer down. Remove the temporary Tails USB from your computer, but leave the original Tails USB plugged in. Turn on the computer again and boot back into the original Tails. Once it boots, you are now using an updated Tails system. If you wish, you can now open Tails Installer again and use the second option, Upgrade by Cloning, to upgrade any other Tails USBs you have. That's it for updating Tails. In the next video, we will explore Tails user interface and basic features so that you can get familiar with how to use it. We also have a range of other videos explaining all aspects of Tails, what it is, how to get it, how to install it, and how to use all of its features. To watch these videos, click or tap on the pop-up message and choose the Tails video playlist. Thanks for watching Infosec Bytes. If you found this video useful, please share it widely with your colleagues and co-workers. To support the Centre for Investigative Journalism with a donation, please visit tcij.org forward slash donate. And if you would like to watch our other videos, please go to infosecbytes.org or subscribe to our channel below.